All right, Zach from Pensacola, Florida again. Well, we've got the chicken thighs cooking in the big Instapot. We're gonna break out the baby Instapot and we're gonna make a true Southern dish, butter beans. Uh, if you don't know what butter beans are, they're baby lima beans. So you can use the same recipe for either. Uh, but butter beans are, are our favorite down here now. The advantage with the Instapot is, I remember my grandma, she used to cook our butter beans. It took forever. She had to soak the beans for a while. Um, it, it just took forever. And this, not so much. All right, now these are frozen. Uh, these are frozen butter beans. If you're gonna get dry butter beans, there's a whole different, whole other recipe. So these are for frozen butter beans. All right, this was a uh, 24 ounce package I got. I'm gonna put that in there. All right, now I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter, one bay leaf, and about a half a teaspoon of, of black pepper. You don't wanna put too much because it'll just get crazy. All right, I'll put that in there. I'm gonna put in one small ham hock. All right, now I'm gonna put in three cups of chicken broth. I try to substitute chicken broth uh, or water with chicken broth anytime I can. All right, so three cups of chicken broth. Hope y'all like my little fancy uh, measuring cup here. And all you really want to do is just cover the beans up. So, here, let me show you. So, all you're really doing is covering the beans. Okay, now, I also want to take a little one hit, any kind of hot sauces, Tabasco, uh, just a little one hitter though. That does a little bit more. Probably don't want to do that much. All right, so, I'm gonna put this back on, make sure this is sealed. I've got it going the right way this time. All right, there we go. Gonna put it on, I always have a hard time, pressure cook on this one. We're gonna go seven minutes. And we'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, it took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to pressurize, and then, uh, I'm talking about the butter beans, 10 minutes to pressurize, and then um, seven minutes to cook, and I did a quick release on the steam. Now, I didn't do this before because you don't want to put salt in it before you cook it because it'll make the shells hard. So now that it's cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Go ahead and hit it with a little, a little salt. And it's really just up to your taste with it, how much you want. All right, show you what we got. Those are some good butter beans. Grandma will be so proud. Uh, the ham hock, some people, and if it was, this was mostly fat and gristle, so I'm not really gonna do anything with it. Um, if you got a good ham hock that's got meat on it, uh, what you can do is you can take it out, you can shred the meat, uh, and then put the meat, shred it off the bone, and then put the meat back in there. Uh, but this one, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw away. It's just mostly fat gristle. All right, that is butter beans in, in the Instapot.